God does this kind of stuff. Uh, <clears throat> Jim opened. Brother, I thought you were going to start preaching my sermon there for me. But God does that. You know, he confirms and witnesses, and you see agreement when you gather his name. But let me ask you all a question. Do you guys think God is good? Yes. You think God is good all the time, right? So let me ask you this. Even though all this craziness is going on in this country right now, brother, and I agree. Is God still good? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Is God still in control? Yes. Okay. You know what I think this country needs more than anything right now? Yeah, we need to speak up. But you know what this country really needs? A huge infusion of Jesus Christ. we got to get all these people that are blinded by the enemy and blinded by the worldly things that's going on. we got to get them to wake up. we got to get them to know who Jesus Christ is. For God so loved the world that he sin is only begotten son that whoever believes upon him shall not perish but have everlasting life well guess how people get a huge infusion of Jesus Christ and experience him you about to see you know we're called to let our light shine let your light shine among men well, what does that really mean what is the light when you, when you read about the Bible, what is the light? Let me read a few verses to you. It tells us in John, as I drop my notes. <laughs> it tells us in John chapter 8, verse 12. Very clear what the light is. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So the light of the world is Jesus Christ. You know what that means? Everyone that does not know Jesus is walking in darkness. Because they don't have the light of life in their life. But Jesus tells us what he wants us to do with the light. He tells us in Matthew chapter 5, verses 14 through 16. This is our part, brothers and sisters. He tells us this. He says this about his followers. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. Let me all ask you a question. Do you think this country needs some light? Amen. Yeah. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. See, when we share the light, and I just read to you, who is the light? Jesus Christ. You guys know this, but you know that every born-again believer has the very person of Jesus Christ living in them? And Jesus tells us right here, he is the light of the world. Then he says, we are the light of the world. How can we be the light of the world? Because we have the light of the world living in us. And what he says is, do not keep the light to yourself. Let it shine before others. And when you do that, it says, it will bring glory to my Father in heaven. Would you know the more and more glory we bring to the Father, and the more and more that we share the light, a lot of this political unrest and this craziness that's going on in this country would stop. They need to sense the love of Christ. They need to experience who the light of the world is. How is my neighbor, this unsaved, possibly ever going to experience the light unless I'm willing to let the light that lives in me shine and they experience, and they experience Jesus Christ? That's how people get saved. It's not always going and preaching at people. It says, by your good deeds, let your light shine. Amen. Where the world says do bad, we do good. Where the world says get angry, we show love. Where the world shows no empathy or grace or mercy, we show empathy, grace, and mercy. You know what happens? Pretty soon they want to know what's up with these people. We let them know. It's a light that lives within each and every one of us. 
And we share that with people. Because the bottom line, guys, I don't like what's going on in this country either. But I would tell you will what will not work. One more argument. One more of my position versus your position. One more of my agenda versus your agenda. That's not going to work. This country is so divided right now. The only thing that's going to bring unity back to this country is that more and more unbelieving people start experiencing the true light of the world, Jesus Christ, experience his presence, his love, his grace, his mercy, his power, all those things that come from people who profess to follow him. We're to share that light with others. We're called to be light in the darkness. You know what's going on right now is darkness. The things that are happening in this country right now, Satan is behind. I truly believe that. There's demonic stuff going on. You cannot, hear me, you cannot fight spiritual, spiritual demonic battles with your flesh. you got to allow the light that lives in you and the presence of the Holy Spirit to fight your battles. You start sharing your light with people. You know, another verse that's very clear that tells us what we should be doing is chapter, or excuse me, John chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. This is going to be a very familiar verse, but there's, there's a part of this verse I think we kind of skim over and we don't hear. So listen to this really intently as I go through it. This is Jesus speaking to his disciples. He says, a new command I give you, love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. First of all, let me ask you a question. Is there anywhere in that verse that says it's an option? A command is a command, right? And he says, a new command I give you. What is the new part? We are always called to love your God, love your neighbor as yourself. Here he says, love one another as I have loved you. We're called to love like Jesus loves. That's the command he gives us. How do we do that? Because if I turn to Romans 5.5, 5, I can show you from the word of God that all born again believing people has the very love of God poured into their heart by the Holy Spirit. You use the love of God that's placed in your heart to love one another. And if we do this, see, there's the important part that we miss. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. You want people to know that you're a true Christian and you follow Jesus? You start loving like this. You start showing the love of Christ. You start letting people experience the Jesus that lives in you and through you and see what happens. That's what this country needs now. It needs a huge infusion of Jesus Christ. Amen. It needs a huge infusion of the love of God. It needs to have the spiritual darkness taken from their eyes and having the true light of the world open their hearts and understand there is only one way to heaven and through that's through Jesus Christ and understand that they are right now being betrayed by the enemy. That's our job. Not about you all. I'm going to share my life. How about you? Amen. So right here, right now, I want to make a prayer. I want you all to be in agreement with me. Okay? This is, this is going to be our prayer. And not just for this little group, but for Christians around this country, Christians around this world, because this is what this needs. We should be surprised by this, guys. Read the end of the Bible. Read Revelation. These kind of things are going to happen more and more. But we're called to act a certain way during these times. Father, we just thank you for your love, your grace, and your mercy. Jesus, we thank you that you are the true light of the world. Lord, we just pray through the presence of your Holy Spirit and the love that you've placed on our heart that you start helping us love the way you call us to love so people know that we are your disciples and help us do the good deeds that you called us to do, Lord, so that you may be glorified, Father, because we want to open people's eyes and take away the spiritual blinders and the influence is coming from the enemy. We just break it in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Christ. Help us share your love and share your life and help us to do what you call us to do. We just ask for protection for your people, Lord, and just the hedge and just your arms around them and just strengthen us like you've never strengthened us before. And I thank you for that. In the name above all names, I pray, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you.